Pope Francis expresses deep sorrow and sadness for euthanasia law in the country of the Virgin of Fatima. Pope Francis expressed his sadness for the approval of the euthanasia law in Portugal, on the eve of the celebration of the memory of the apparitions of Our Lady of Fatima to the Little Shepherds. This May 13, for the first time, the pontiff met in the Paul VI Hall with representatives of all the women of the World Union of Catholic Women's Organizations, which will hold its assembly in Assisi, Italy, from May 14 to 20, 2023. Before thousands of women present, the Pope said, Today, as we celebrate the memory of the apparitions of the Virgin Mary to the Little Shepherds of Fatima, I am very sad that in the country where Our Lady appeared, a law has been passed to kill. It is one more step in the long list of countries with euthanasia. Thus, the Pope expressed his sorrow for the approval of the bill on assisted dying in Portugal, which has been rejected four times, twice by the constitutional judges and twice by the President of the Republic. This time, however, the Portuguese President will no longer be able to reject it and has eight days to promulgate it. The Holy Father invited Catholic women to think of Our Lady of Fatima as a model of woman par excellence, who lives in fullness a gift and a task, the gift of motherhood and the task of caring for her children in the Church. You too as women possess that gift and that task, in each of the spheres where you are present. Knowing that without you those spheres are alone, it is not good for man to be alone, the Pope maintained sending Catholic women on mission in the context of the Church's synodal journey. Mary teaches them to generate life and to always protect it, relating to others from tenderness and compassion, and combining three languages, that of the mind, the heart and the hands, he added. I have said this on other occasions, but I believe that women have that capacity to think what they feel, to feel what they think and do, and to do what they feel and think. I encourage them to continue to offer that sensitivity in the service of others. On the feast day of Fatima, the pontiff recalled the Marian apparition that in the midst of the silence and solitude of the fields, a kind woman full of light meets some poor and simple children. Like all the great things that God does, what characterizes the scene is poverty and humility. In those little shepherds we too are represented, all of humanity, fragile and small, and we could even say a little bewildered and frightened," he added. In this way, Pope Francis reflected on the strength of Mary and the little shepherds of Fatima to do what she asked of them, and stressed the importance of cultivating an inner union with God in order to live the fullness of being a woman and to feel chosen and protagonists in God's saving work. He also stressed the importance of cultivating an inner union with God in order to live the fullness of being a woman and to feel chosen and protagonist in God's saving work," concluded the pontiff.